How to use the star transfer feature that comes with Photoshop 221, part of the neural filter, but how to use it with something such as a very basic gradient. Create something like that, which is quite an extreme image, just for a very simple gradient. Go to the gradient tool, select that, and then go up to the gradients, and I'm just going to use a very basic rainbow gradient. You can find part of the legacy gradients. I'm also using blend mode of difference. So I'm simply going to apply, now I'm also using radial. Just apply a couple of gradients there. You can create some really beautiful gradient designs very quick and easy, just using this. And then once you've done that, what you can do, just go over to filter menu and then neural filters. Once you're into neural filters, you'll see there style transfer. Now it's off by default. All of the filters will be off by default. What you can do, just go over here and turn it on. And straight away you get this one, this effect here. You've got a, a selection of styles that can be used, which are quite useful. And you can see the gradient there. And of course you can go and select more. There's a whole range of different ones, maybe like a Vincent van Gogh one. So you've got that design. But what you can also do is you've got the option here, and I'm just going to use that for example, because of course there are many others as well. You can explore them, you can create some very abstract designs using this feature. You've also got style opacity, so you can reduce style opacity, so you just get basically very subtle. But it just creates a nice subtle appearance throughout. You can see the design there, but I'm just going to push it up to the fairly up to the limit, so you end up losing, but you can still see the gradient effect there. Also, what you can do, background blur, not so useful for this because it's just not the sort of subject that's useful. But detail, you can change the detail, so you can push it that way. You can see more of this sort of line structure there. But you can also go the other way as well. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to process things. So it's, it is quite a subtle change. But sometimes if you're using some filters, it will be more obvious. Also, you can change the brightness. So you can make it very bright. Or, of course, you can go the other way as well. Make it a lot darker. But I'm just going to go for a brighter look. And also saturation, nice colour saturation. So you can create a lovely design like that. You've also got other options, which again, are not much use in this sort of more abstract subject. You've also got a thing here for saying whether you like it. You can actually contact Adobe and say, look, I wasn't happy with this image, or yes, I was. So it's really useful to put your comments, send it to them, tell them, well, this needs to be changed, that needs to be changed. But also, even better at this point, I think, and I don't know about you, but I think the output options are really excellent. So I wish all the filters had this, not just the neural filters. Current layer, duplicate layer, duplicate layer, mast, as well as new layer, and also smart filter. So now I'm currently using new, new layer. I mean, I think new layer is fine. It's great, you can put it onto a new layer, and once you've done that, click OK. What you've got, You've got this layer here, which you can, of course, blend. So you can just go up here and you can go for, say, instead of, you can go for darken, color burn, lighten. So you can run through them. And you can create some very interesting, this one there with difference. You've got that design. And also, once you've done that, of course, you can go to layer and you can flatten the image. But of course, what you can do, you can apply it again. So just go over to filter and just neural filters. It will use that style transfer. So neural filters again, and you can see the result then. You get a really garish color. And again, it's a layer, which is super useful because what you can do, you can go up here again and you can run through and try out different ones. Difference, I mean, that looks great. I think that's just, and of course, what you can also do, again, you've got flatten, layer and flatten but you can always go and quickly change adjustments maybe modify levels vibrance so you can just boost the vibrance up and you've got that also you can transform you can modify the design but you can also again go to filters and neural filters and just apply it again and again go to blend modes again and just run through and you can see just simply by trying out these things Maybe go with that one. Layer and flatten image. So you've got this design, all from a very, very basic gradient. So style transfer is a 
brilliant new feature that you can combine with layers and of course doesn't even touch upon the features of smart objects which of course you can combine with effects and also masks and much much more so definitely worth checking out have you used it have you tried using the style transfer it's a great feature now if you don't have it of course one thing you have to do you have to download it takes five seconds really quite quick just to download it and that's really useful because it keeps it up to date so of course if things change maybe there's a new feature or something that Photoshop have added then of course you have to download it again but you've got that very quickly a new feature which you can use so and also there's of course lots of other neural filters as well to try out hope you found this of interest thank you much